Hey guys, I wanted to show you how to set up a proper reverb in Pro Tools, mainly because a lot of my artists send me sessions with D-verbs inserted on every track, and that's not really the right way to do it. It uses a lot of system resources. It doesn't sound like all the vocals are in the same space. It's harder to adjust in a mix. So here's the correct way to do it. First thing I'm gonna do is get rid of all these D-verbs up here. So I would select all the vocal tracks by clicking the first one and then shift clicking the last one. Then I'd hold shift option and click to deselect no insert. Then I'm gonna make a send instead of an insert. So I'll click on this vocal and I'll hit new track. And then we're gonna do a stereo aux input. And we'll, you could name that reverb or the type of reverb. In this case, I'm gonna do a plate. Then you're gonna solo safe your reverb track by hitting command and pressing the solo button. That will make it so it doesn't mute when you solo your vocal. Now on this plate, I'm going to insert a reverb. D There's much better reverbs out there, but D-verb is something that everyone has, so we'll use that today. I'll select a plate, and now we'll solo up this vocal track and adjust to taste. Meet me back on the other side. Now to easily copy this to other tracks, you can hold option and click this where it says plate and just move the send around. So now we have the plate on all these vocal tracks. We'll take a listen. Meet me back on the other side. Now let's say we wanted to make these two more background doubles deeper in the reverb so they're more wet and further away you just click there on where it says plate and then you turn off the send a little bit on both of these and listen one more time Meet me back on the other side. so that's really it generally when i'm mixing i go a step further which i can show you now if you're interested otherwise stop watching and thank you so Instead of having all of these go to a plate and having an individual send, if I want all these chorus vocals to be treated together, I would send them all to a chorus vocal aux, which I have created already in my mix, and that has a send to a plate and a slap delay and a quarter delay, eighth delay, hall, doubler, trail delay on certain words. And then you can just easily adjust all of these right here. So we'll listen to that one time. Meet me back on the other side. Kill the noise in my mind. So that's a combination of all these different effects. Thanks for watching and I hope this is helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. And I will post a link to the whole song if you'd like to check it out. Give you a little preview of it here. Meet me.